I'm going to invite one of my favorite people in the whole world, Miss Kate and her husband, Cayman, and this beautiful baby named Archer to come up here. For 16 years, I've watched this young lady grow up. A few years ago, I watched her bring this hairy-legged fella home to dad and mom and decided to become his wife. And then five weeks ago, God blessed them with a beautiful son. All right, give it up. He's not impressed with me yet, so I'm hoping I'm going to work on that and win him over. We're glad that you guys are here. Proverbs reminds us as parents and as a church family, by the way, to train up a child in the way they should go. And when they're old, they will not depart from it. doesn't mean that they sway and then come back. It means that they're going to stay steady with that. And so when I got the phone call, didn't recognize the last name. I was looking for a different last name, and then I realized who it was. And I called, and I didn't give anybody else on staff the option. And I was very happy to be able to dedicate this beautiful child. Now, some of you were baptized as babies. That's not what we do. Um, we allow you to accept Jesus, and then you bring yourself to the water. What we do is dedicate them to the Lord, and we invite you to take part along with the parents. So, Mom and Dad, do you commit to train this child in the ways of the Lord? Do you commit to pray for him and model a loving husband and wife relationship so that he sees what it's like. Mama, do you commit to date this young man so he knows how to be treated and how to treat a young lady? Dad, do you commit to loving on this young man and teaching him how to treat women with respect? Okay, good. Now, church family, your responsibility. We need babysitters, but you got to fight this front row for it, just letting you know. Will you commit to praying for baby Archer? Now, he ain't always going to be a baby, so you can use Archer, and you can pray for them. You can pray for Cayman, like the island or like the alligator. Good. Or Kate, you can pray for their family. Will you commit to pray for them to be successful in their relationship with the Lord? Will you pray that God would give them insight and direction as they love on this baby, as they train this baby, as they teach this baby how much they love God so that he'll learn to love God? Will you commit to do that for us? And we as a staff will commit to doing the same thing for you. Now, we have a book. It's called the Jesus Storybook Bible. And this gives mom and dad an opportunity to read. And each one of these stories introduces him to Jesus. Okay? So I'm going to give this to you. And then I'm going to let you hold the mic here because I get to hold the baby if that's all right. That works for me. Okay, good. <laughs> Come here, Mr. Archer. Ooh, I know. I know. It's... Boy, you're beautiful. I'll just keep you for a little while. How about that? You going to pray with me? Y'all pray together. Father God, thank you for this beautiful child. Thank you for bringing him into our lives. And Father, we pray that we would continue to honor you by loving on him, teaching him the truth of your word, and teaching these parents how to be great parents and love on their child. Father, we dedicate this child to you and pray that you call him to be one of your children. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. amen. You are He's already back to see you. Look at this. Thank you so much. Y'all be careful going down the street.